Right guys, so today was like Christmas. I got my crank back here from my 14 horse Kohler, ground 20 under, done by Brian Miller of uh, GardenTractorPullingTips.com. And I got this sweet rod that has a bearing insert in it for 20 under, which I think Brian machines and fabricates that up, but it looks pretty mint to me. So that's awesome. Now I just need to get my uh, cylinder board out or honed out to 10 over. And I got another project that came in the mail today too. I scored this crank on eBay. It needs a little cleanup, but this is for a walk behind 14 horse or 432, whatever you want to say. But this one's going to go to Brian too. This one needs a... Uh, grinding it has a blown rod remnants on there a bunch of aluminum and this one is probably going to have to go to 20 under as well so i'm going to clean up some of this rust a little bit and uh ship this one off to brian to get done as well so stay tuned for more all right see ya well guys i decided i'd work on dissecting this uh 14 horse Kohler tonight because I'm going to bring it to the machine shop so that we can finally get the 814 back together. And some of you might remember that the balance gear had exploded in this thing, and uh, this was the original oil pan <laughs> nightmare over here where you see pieces of balance gear. And so basically, where the uh, gear was in the block here, the whole casting area just disintegrated and blew out there and you know I don't think it's a huge problem but there is a hole that comes out the front here where that gear balance gear shaft should be I can just put some silicone on that or something when we're done I don't think it's the end of the world but anyways uh, the other gear is still in there and I got to take that one out and there's just like a snap ring that goes on here and hopefully I can get these pliers in here it's a really bitch little thing <laughs> if that's a technical term let's see if we can do it one-handed here with my left hand I'm right-handed yep oh yeah that will come off so let me get that off and then uh, let me see I guess theoretically I could find a shaft that the governor gear is supposed to go on and I could just pound that little shaft back in the hole it's not really uh, that crucial I think that like I was saying some silicone or something can plug up that hole just fine I can't do this one-handed so let me take this out and then we'll look at what we got all right I got the snap ring off so let's see if we can get the stupid balance gear the heck out of here let's see there's needle bearings in there and probably all going to fall out when I try to take it out here. Let's see, yep, there we go. Oh, we got it. Yeah, I guess that gear really isn't that bad, but uh, we don't want them in there, so it's going to go in a scrap pile. And thinking about it, spacers, whatever, the little stub that it goes on, you know, I really can't... Uh, Put it in properly because the the block is broken here off where it's supposed to go but what I could do is measure that diameter and just see if like a piece of half inch rod or something would would fit in there but again it's not really crucial it doesn't serve any purpose anymore it's just gonna be a hole and in fact when I put this giant um, bearing plate on there whatever you want to call that the mounting plate for the engine it's going to cover that thing and I won't have to worry about it at all so I guess that being said I don't really have to worry too much you know so I think we'll be in good shape but for now uh, that's where we're at you know I'm not looking so bad so I'm going to bring this to my machinist and uh He's going to fit it for the new piston that I got. And then uh, I have my crank back, all that ready to go. I just got to get 
the piston in there and we'll be good to go so looks like a some kind of bees nest or something down here that's funny but yeah it's got all new gasket set you know the normal deal and uh i don't have to take the muffler off it won't be in the way of his machine what we'll do is we'll bolt the oil pan back on there because then it's just easier for him to put it in the machine when he hones it so i'll put that back on and uh, the only thing left to do here is take the valves out. Everything else is done, so we'll see. All right, guys, so I got those valves out. Now let's take a look at it. So they're not really that bad. They just maybe could use a little uh, lapping real quick, and they'll probably be pretty good. They're not pitted or anything. And the valve seats are not pitted either. And uh, I think that they'll clean up. Machinists will probably laugh at me and be like, you cheap bastard, you should have bought new valves, but whatever. So I'm going to take all these parts and put them in a big uh, Ziploc bag. That's what I like to do, like a one-gallon Ziploc bag. And I'll throw them in a box and uh, we'll call it a day. And this old piston will go right into the scrap aluminum pile. And these old pieces of balance gear and everything will go right in my scrap metal right here so yeah that's pretty much a wrap boys